Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. I hope you all had a great couple of weeks. I know I've been super, super busy just with work and with life. I haven't really gotten a chance to sit down and film an empties video for you, but I've definitely been burning and melting the wax. My bin is definitely overflowing, and I have so much to share with you. I had a Scentsy week. I had mm, just some random stuff. Some definitely not super seasonal things that I just wanted to work on. But my main goal during this time was to use up a lot of summer wax so I don't have to transfer for the next year, especially a lot of my Scentsy. My Scentsy this next summer would be the third year that I had it, and I'm like, no. I need to melt it. I need to get it out of my stash. So without further ado, let's get into it. Starting with candles, I finished quite a bit of candles. The first one I finished was a strawberry pound cake. I love strawberry pound cake. This burned all the way down to the bottom. I will say, with this batch of White Barn Strawberry Pound Cake candles, this is 2011, I know it's not actually 2011 the year, but the code is 2011K3B1. If you guys have any of these candles in your stash, let me know how the burn is, because about halfway, the flames just get so small. And whenever that happens, I feel like the throw just is not there anymore, and I know I could have popped my candle crock. I don't know, I just feel like I'm wasting a candle if I put it in the candle crock. Like, let me know if you guys are like this. I just feel like even if the candle doesn't perform the best, I just get so much satisfaction on finishing a candle and like knowing that like, okay, this candle is complete. When I see like a brand new full candle, but I stuck it in the crock, like, yeah, I got scent out of it, but I still feel like if there's scent in the candle, like it's still good, but I know it's not. It's just like a mind thing for me. But yeah, so I finished a strawberry pound cake three wick. I also finished a pumpkin snickerdoodle three wick. Now this had the total opposite problem. The flames were super, super high and I feel like it was so high, it actually like scorched the wax and it really like made this smell like burnt pumpkin snickerdoodles. The notes are warm sugar cookies, ground cinnamon, nutmeg, and sprinkled with sugar. So there's actually not even pumpkin in the notes, and it really does just smell like a snickerdoodled candle. The only thing is, because the flames were so high on this packaging one, which I love the packaging, it just, um, the flames were just so high that it like kind of scorched the wax. I finished a single wick of sugared lemon zest in my bathroom. I love this. This burned all the way down. Sorrento lemons, bright lemon zest, and sugar cane. I still have a three wick of this. Really like this. I feel like this is such a good lemon scent for the bathroom. It is the same as Lemoncello. If you remember that from years ago, it's just beautiful. It's a really bright, sugary lemon. Always enjoy that one. Super random, I found a random single wick of Sparkling Snow from Yankee Candle in my stash, and I'm like, this is driving me crazy, it just doesn't fit, and I've had it for years, so I just burned it in my bathroom, completely unscented, it was mainly just like an ambiance candle, but I finished that one up. For my friend Melissa at 1820 House, which is an Ohio-based candle company, I finished Liquid Amber, which is part of her Beat Elixirs line, which is like a plant-based line. Completely burned down. It's a vegetable wax. Obsessed with her candles. I love the way they perform. Super clean. I actually will peel this label off, take these wick clips out, and I'll wash this and use these as like drinking glasses. Like ball glasses. They're really nice. And Liquid Amber is Labdanum, Benzoin, Tonka, Saffron, and Aged Cognac. And it's just a beautiful, spiced, warm scent. I've been liking a lot more of those like masculine, warm scents in my bedroom. And this fit the bill. Really enjoyed that. I finished a Kringle Halloween candle. Now I'm super excited. My um, order shipped. It should be here this week. So I got all 19 candles that I will sit down and do a sniff review with you guys. But I did finish a jar of Poison Apple. I was really in the mood for some Halloween-y scents, even though it is just turned September. I just think these jars are beautiful. And it burned down 
you can't really see because it's black wax. The new ones this year are white soy. They're not the black ones, which I don't know how I feel. We'll have to see how they burn, but I did think the black was pretty cool. They did discolor a little bit because it's 100% soy, but really, really love this candle. It is an apple scent. It kind of leans towards like an apple cleaner. I, and I don't want you to think like it's like bleach, but it's definitely so fresh and crisp apple, which I thought for the name Poison Apple, it would be more, um, more warm and like almost like rotten apple, which I know is not appealing, but it's definitely a very crisp apple, almost like an effervescent apple. I really, um, really enjoyed that. And the throw was great. This guy, I purposely did not clean so you could see how sooty this candle was. This is Farm Fresh Peach from Yankee Candle, and it was literally after four hours, the wicks got so high. Look at this blackness, right? Crazy. That's why I'm starting to not burn as many candles as I used to because of this issue. I really don't love the sooty look, for one. I don't love breathing that in either. So anyway, I love the scent. It does smell just like peach jam, like very succulent, rich, decadent, like your mouth waters when you smell it. Peach jam, really like this. I think peaches and apples are such good transitional fragrances if you're wanting to burn fall, but you might not feel like it's the appropriate season because it's still like a thousand degrees outside. I feel like peach and apple scents are really your go-to as like transitions into the pumpkins and the warm woodsy fragrances. But I really like Farm Fresh Peach. I actually might stick this in the candle crock or freeze this and pop this in the warmer because I really did enjoy the scent and want to get every last drop out of it. I actually would repurchase that too. I enjoyed it that much. All right, the only non-wax empty that I have for you is a body care from Bath & Body Works, Whiskey Reserve Shower Gel from the men's line. I talked about this before. It smells just like the K's Black Sea oil. That's just me and my nose. I love this shower gel. Crisp apple, single malt whiskey, and white oak. I love it. It lasted all day, like, on my body when I washed it. And I don't typically use the men's body washes from Bath & Body Works a lot, but when you work there, you do get a lot of free goodies, and this was a freebie, so I wanted to use it up, and I actually really, really enjoyed it. It was, it was really nice if you wanted, like, a masculine moment, which every once in a while, I do enjoy that. All right, let's move on to the Scentsy. I have quite a bit of Scentsy. I really wanted to focus on my Scentsy bars that have had quite a bit of age on them. There's a couple newer fragrances in there, but for the most part, I wanted to focus on ones that uh, have a lot of age. But I did change out the pods in my air purifier from, I have the old pods in here. First day of fall to Cloudberry Dreams. Now, I don't have an actual like uh, air purifier or a, uh, fan diffuser, which are like the plugins that you use the pods with. It, I did have one. I had it in my bathroom, and I think from all the hairspray, it like gunked up the fan. So I need to order a new one. I just haven't pulled the trigger yet. But um, because I think it's an absolute waste to use these in the air purifier, you don't really smell them. And if it's purifying the air, it's really not pushing out scent. And I had these first day of fall pods in there for so long. They literally have no scent left at all. Absolutely scentless. I enjoy that scent. And then I just put Cloudberry Dreams in because I can't stand this scent. I really liked it at first, but oh no, it's like so tart and like overpowering rose. And I love rose fragrances, but I don't love this. It just has such an overwhelming sharpness to it. So I figure, well, if I want to try to get every ounce of scent out of this, I'll put it in my purifier and let it go for like a month and just blow every ounce of scent out, and I still can't smell anything from it. So I don't think the air purifier is... I love our air purifier in general. I just don't think using it with the pods does anything. But that's just me. All right, let's move on to a Scentsy. I actually had a really, really good Scentsy week with these aged bars. I really just did not want to sit on them any longer. So I did two bars of vanilla bourbon from the Father's Day collection. I believe that's how I got this. 
or was this released before? It doesn't have like any of the press in um, scent category like images like some bars do. Um, so I knew that this was aged. This was nice. It definitely was not my favorite. I like a lot more masculine, like bourbon y, uh, warm vanilla scents versus this one. It was nice though. It definitely gave me like a vanilla extract with bourbon note, where I wish it was like a little bit more smoky. I know it's vanilla bourbon, so it wasn't supposed to be smoky, but I feel like to fit the vibe, it was just missing something. Like, the fragrance wasn't complete. I did get pretty good throw for the entire day from this. I did change it out the next day. Next, I did Olaf Warm Hugs from the Frozen Collection. And see what I mean? Uh, you really can't tell because it's clear, but this one has, like, the shapes in the back. This was just minty, sweet minty. I did this in my bedroom. I will be honest, it did not last a long time. I don't love the Disney scents to begin with, or the license bars, but yeah, it just didn't last for anything in my room, and I thought it would because it was minty and like creamy fresh, so didn't care for that one. Same with this one, the Muppets bar. Um, this one smells like that generic plastic baby doll, fruity, scentsy, Disney scent. I really don't understand how, with Disney being so, like, about their licensing, they pick the worst scents for their Disney bars. I don't know. I do not know why. Why it is that way, but it is. <gasps> my beloved Strawberry and Rock Melon from the International Wax Collection. This was my last two bars. They don't have it in my club, but if I was hanging on to it again, I would not get performance out of it. And if you watch Charity's video, she just did this in her empties and she said it had this really awful sour note. I assume we got these around the same time since this collection was such a short-lived collection. Not by any bad means, it was just, it was only limited anyway. This was in 2020. I love this. So Rock Melon is cantaloupe, from what I remember, and internationally is what they call it. And this is strawberry cantaloupe. It's a beautiful, I love cantaloupe scents. I love all melon scents for the most part. And mixed with this juicy, juicy strawberry. It is a little bit of an artificial strawberry, but I think mixed with the rock melon, it was beautiful. I really like this. This and Pacific Sandalwood, I don't understand why Scentsy can't just make it in the catalog. They're all made in Idaho, so clearly they have the oils for it. Strawberry Rock Melon is just beautiful. We'll always repurchase it. So strong. I literally had this for over two days in my warm. By the third day, it was getting a little light, and I'm like, yeah, I'm changing it. I was not changing the warmers out in my main area. If there was still scent left with this, I wanted to get every drop of scent out of it. It's perfect. Sticking with the ones that I have, two bars I finished up. Sweet Pea and Vanilla from the Bring Back My Bar a couple years ago. I really liked this. And then I warmed it, and it just had a note that, like, I was like, wow. And this is one where I was in and out of the house a lot that day, and the next day I actually just left the warmers on 24-7. And this guy was just kept on going. It was not dying out, and I'm like, ugh, I just don't love it. But I hate, I hate throwing wax away that still has a lot of scent left. So I did just want to use both of these bars up. They're the last two bars I had of it. Really, again, really liked it, but fell really out of love with it very quickly because there's just, I don't know if it's the way the vanilla pairs with the sweet pea. There's kind of like a, like a sharpness to this one that I just did not love. But again, it was really warm this week, so just wanted to use up some bars from summer and it fit the bill, but I just didn't love it. Next, we have My Wish. These were the greasiest bars I've ever had. And I do not, like, you can literally see, probably, the oil that's still left in this bar. I don't understand. Um, my room, my apartment is really, really, really cold. I love it cold. And these are in my bedroom, which is extra cold. And they still sweat like nobody's business. I, I, I've never had wax from anyone ever do it. Or older Scentsy bars. It just seems like from the last couple of years, they, they sweat profusely. And I don't know if it's a reason. I, I, I don't know. I don't understand. But anyway, my wish is like fig and marshmallow. 
Love the scent. I literally had to like wash my hands because I felt like as I was like breaking the bar, the juice was just coming out of the bar and I was like, my hands were so greasy, but I love this. It is a very like sweet, earthy fig with that extra sweet marshmallow. It's a beautiful scent. Always enjoy that. And it lasted like two days. Really loved it. Pink Sugarberry Mint. I actually have this going right now in all of the warmers and it is beautiful. Um, I know a lot of people say they don't smell mint. I can smell mint in the background on cold. When you warm it, it just smells like a very sweet, sugary, cotton candy type fragrance. But in the clam, it's like a spearmint or like a winter mint way in the background and only a drop of it. So I feel like you could go with or without it. If you're not a mint fan, don't be scared of it. Definitely is more like a cotton candy fragrance. Either way, I absolutely love it. And it that is in my club. I really love, really love that one. This is the little bar that could. This is the first scent I melted in my new apartment. I have it going right now in my bedroom on day three, white tea and cactus. This scent is so pretty. It's sweet. It's... I don't want to say it's um, fresh because it's not necessarily like overwhelming fresh. It's just beautiful. It's it's sweet. It's clean. And I think the white tea blended with the sweetness of the cactus. I love it. I'm so sad I didn't add this to my club. This is a scent one bar last days. I don't need to do like two bars in a big space. Even in like my living room, dining room, kitchen, I could take this bar and put one cube in each warmer and it would fill up the house for days. Like, it is a strong performer, a lasting performer, and the scent stays consistent from the moment you put it in until it fades away. It's beautiful. It doesn't change. It doesn't get more heavy on one versus the other. It's just, it's stunning. I love white tea and cactus. I finished fresh, fresh Ice from the NHL collection. This was just okay. I wouldn't, like, go out of my way for it. It was another, like, very minty scent. It also did not last a really long time. Cozy Cardigan. I did this one in my bedroom. I like it. It's like a sweet cashmere scent with, like, a little bit of berry, but almost like a snow-kissed berry. So it has, like, that little hint of, like, an ice and chill in the air. It's pretty. I really liked it. It does last well and is a strong performer. Lucky in Love from the Bring Back My Bar collection. This is a dupe for Love Spell from Victoria's Secret. So I feel like everybody knows what it smells like. This did not perform well though. It used to for me. I just don't know if this was too old or what, but it did not really perform. It lasted like half a day. Mad for Melon, always enjoy this one. This is like a blend of cantaloupe, honeydew. I don't get any watermelon. I mainly get like a honeydew cantaloupe vibe. Oh, it's so pretty. It's it's no strawberry and rock melon, but it is really, really good. Lasts a long time. A really good summer scent if you like melon. It's like a very, the air smells very just sweet and delicious. Speaking of sweet and delicious, aloe water and cucumber. This is definitely in my top five Scentsy scents. Anytime anybody is like, what scents do you love from Scentsy? Whether it's spring, summer, fall, and winter, aloe water and cucumber. This 100% will go in my club two bars every month if it ever gets discontinued. I'm sure it will eventually because Scentsy always does, but aloe water and cucumber, beautiful. I've had it in the laundry. I've had it in the car scents. I have it right now in the all-purpose cleaner concentrate that I'm using to like mop my floors because I have hardwood floors here that are beautiful and I want to keep them that way. So using the aloe water and cucumber all-purpose con concentrate, it just makes the room smell so fresh. There's a hint, just a hint of pineapple in here, which gives it a sweetness. But if you even don't like pineapple, I think you still would really love aloe water and cucumber. Yeah, it's just, it's stunning. I love it. I think it's that I like, like, aloe type of scents. And then I did Buzzworthy, which was an old scent of the month I found on a Facebook de-stash group, and I bought, like, 30 bars, and I could not be happier. I love Buzzworthy. It's, like, sugared almonds, honey, and whipped vanilla. It's amazing. It's so strong. It's warm. It's cozy. It's like a put this in your warmers and, like, just cuddle up with it. I never want to be without it. And now that I have 100 bars, I don't think I ever will be without it. 
And then last for Scentsy is Weathered Leather. I told you I got through a lot of Scentsy. And again, I'm really feeling sometimes like the masculine, warm, woodsy scents in my bedroom. And Weathered Leather fit the bill. As it melted, it definitely did not give like, this smells straight up like you walked into Johnson & Murphy or like, a leather goods store like straight up but I feel like when it hits the warmer and it's like in the air it just really smells like you do have like a leather jacket hanging in your closet that's like fresh that you just took out of the box or something I love it I know it's not for everybody but I do think it's a beautiful warm scent and I I always will have it on hand just in case I feel like that it would never like go in my club or anything but I'm happy to have it. Out of all the leather scents that Scentsy has, this is definitely my favorite. Right, moving on to Vendor Wax. I don't have a ton. I definitely used up quite a bit, but it's definitely smaller than most. I finished Deputy Dewey from Vintage Chic Scents. This is Sweet Pumpkin, Yellow Cake, and Zucchini Bread. I got this June 1st, 2021. I really like this. This was a rose I cut into four pieces, did it in hot plate warmers. I performed really well. It's just a very warm, creamy pumpkin scent. And then that hint of zucchini bread just made it a little bit more sweet. I really liked it. Moo Moo Track from Rose Girls. This was a chunk muffin that I used. It is banana cream pie, fresh picked strawberries, birthday cake, and marshmallow smoothie. I really, really like this. Just a really great strawberry banana scent. You have to like banana to like it, but I really do. Dessa's Homespun Scents, Sweet Macerated Strawberries, Sliced Strawberries Coated in Sugar Until the Natural Sweet Syrup is Released. I was definitely not a Sweet Macerated Strawberries stan when I first got it, and I got this in July. So excited to have Odessa's order shipping soon from the last pre-order. It was pretty massive, I'll just say that. Yeah, I just, I really liked this as it warmed up. It's definitely a super sweet candied strawberry on cold and on warm. It definitely gives me like artificial strawberry vibes, but honestly, when it melted, I really enjoyed it. Sad, I don't even know if it was offered in this last one. It might have been. If not, I'm definitely going to pick up a loaf in her next pre-order. I definitely enjoyed it. It was very yummy and lasted all day. From Sassy Girl Aroma, I did Apple Baking Contest. And this is Mac Apple Graham Cracker Cream Cheese Frosting and Marshmallow. This was amazing. The apple was definitely like a Mac Apple. Very crisp, very fresh. But the Graham Cracker and the Cream Cheese Frosting... I assume, and the, and the marshmallow together and gave it like a strudel-like consistency when you like smelled it and warmed it. It was super pleasant, really, really, really enjoyable. I really liked it. It was definitely like warm and fall-like. I did a bag of circus concession from Rose Girls. Did I do two? I thought I did two bags of circus concession. Um... Maybe not. I thought I did too. Anyway, love this. This is one of Charity's absolute favorites. It's like a funnel cake Mac Apple. I love the funnel cake note on warm. It's that yeasty, really fresh from the oven or the fryer funnel cake. And then mixed with those caramel apples. It's beautiful. I did Major Dundee from Sassy Girl Aroma, and this is caramel pretzels, ice cream scoop bread, raspberry brulee, sugar cookie dough, and zucchini. I enjoyed it. It definitely was not my absolute favorite. I have other pretzel scents I really like from Sassy Girl. It just seemed like this had so much else going in it. It kind of was like, I wanted it to be pretzel forward, and it wasn't. It was definitely more like super sweet bakery with a little bit of pretzel, and it was kind of like hard to tell what was fighting for first place in the warmers. Vanilla Sandalwood Campfire Marshmallows and Vanilla Lace from Rose Girls. This is such a beautiful blend. I loved this scent years ago. So when it was offered, this is from September of 21, I had to pick it up. It was virtually scentless when I did it. I did it in my candle room, um, an entire mini melter bag, and I could not smell it at all. And I love the scent. It's beautiful. Just no performance. Cucumber and Pink Sugar from Rose Girls. This I enjoyed. I like pink sugar, and I liked the cucumber note. It was a very, like, fresh sliced cucumber. The throw lasted about five minutes, though, so would not order that. Next is Super Tarts uh, Flame Princess. 
Tangerine Toasted Marshmallow and Fizzy Pop. I did not like this at all. I don't know if it was just the way that it was blended together. No throw. Did not enjoy it. I'm still on the fence with Super Tarts. This I got in a D-Stash. She gave me in a sample of Swanky Little Witches and Fireside Cream Cake. It was like a chunk. For one, I'm obsessed with Swanky's wax and how it cuts. It's beautiful. Now tell me guys, I did it once in my tea light warmer and I got amazing performance. I did it a second time in a hot plate warmer and it was like meh. So it was a big chunk, so I cut it in half. What do you think performs Swanky the best? Is it hot plates? Is it Sensi's? It is a softer wax, so I feel like the hot plate maybe was just too hot for it. But meanwhile, a tea light's hotter and it performed, but it didn't last. I don't know. I did really enjoy the scent and I do have a a smaller swanky haul. I think I got like six loaves and really excited for when that pre-order comes in to give swanky a try. But I did really enjoy the scent. From Fantasy Wax, this is my first ever time trying Fantasy Wax. My friend Andrea here on YouTube, I'll link her channel down below, talked to me about Fantasy, obsessed with it. And I'm like, Full disclosure, guys, you have to like dip into your 401k to pay for Swanky or Fantasy. One cent shot's like almost $5. It's insanely expensive. I was making a joke with her. I was like, what's a loaf? Like $50? I mean, I just think it's very, very expensive. Like a cent shot's $5. Like $4.45. And I know she's on Etsy. She's a smaller business. So maybe that's why. This is a snap bar. Two days in my bedroom. Full strength insanity. So strong. So, with that being said, I did place an order from Swanky on her Etsy shop. I'll leave the link down below. Her stuff sells out really quickly. She does a little collection drops, and if you follow her on YouTube, her name is Kirsten Fantasy Wax Melts. She's more of a planner girl, and I have to say, love the planner girls, like, joining the wax community. I think it's super fun that, like, crafty girls and all different types of people get into the vendor wax world at different times and then they join the community and it's just such a fun place to be and anyway she does like her drop reveals on youtube and like does a video the latest one is nightmare before christmas and i think she said she'll have one more fall uh, ready to ship and then a pre-order from what I remember but anyway I'll link her channel down below too she does awesome videos really cool and I understand her wax is expensive just give it a try it definitely performs I've only melted one but from everybody on YouTube non-biased reviews too I was going in blind I, and I told Andre I'm like if I don't like it I'm gonna say it because it's expensive and I want people on my channel if they watch me to buy stuff that they really love this was pretzel and honey butter rolls. Okay, for one, I'm a yeasty boy. I love yeasty, delicious bakery. Pretzel, honey butter rolls. You have yeasty pretzel, you have yeasty butter rolls. Together, beautiful. I did half of a snap bar in two warmers, so I took the half and cut it in half and did those in the warmers. It performed incredibly two days. Love it. I use my Julianne home warmers, which are like a three different heat level warmer. And I put it on the medium setting, and it lasted a really long time. I will say, like, the third morning, it was definitely lighter, but, I mean, you would expect that from wax. And really enjoyed it. I know Andrea said she loves it in her happy wax warmers. I do have a happy wax warmer or two. I just don't love the silicone whenever you pop out the dish, and, like, the whole underneath of the silicone gets, like, that, like, frosted, like, almost like a film and it just goes everywhere. I don't know why the wax does that in there, but it does. But she said they perform really well in there. So I set up a fantasy wax, a happy wax warmer in my office to try some fantasy. And if it performs, I might get a couple more happy wax warmers just in general, not just for their wax, but I like having new warmers. Next, I did a sample from the bathing garden in circus cake. I could not smell it. And it was like super messy. Now I will say, if you do the freezer method, glitter and all this stuff really doesn't matter. I did this in a tea light in my bathroom. It wasn't super, super strong, but like there was so many sprinkles and glitter. And I'm almost like, does that affect the throw of wax having all of that like embed stuff that's not wax in it? I'm not really sure, but 
Once it hardened and I popped the tea light warmer in the freezer, it popped right out in one dish. No residue, all the glitter, all the sprinkles like stuck in the wax, so didn't really affect me. Stainless steel from Rose Girls, this was a powerhouse. It's just like a masculine cologne type of fragrance. I did enjoy it. I did the mini melter bag a few times in my bedroom. Speechless, this is another little engine that could. So strong. This is Coastal Kale, Satsuma, and Raindrops. Beautiful. I had a friend come over. Um, she was picking up a Scentsy order, and she's like, your house smells so fresh and so clean. What is that? I'm like, it's Speechless from Rose Girls. And she's oh my god, I need some. I said, yeah, but I don't support Rose Girls. Um, so I'm going to try to make this dupe from another vendor because it's beautiful. I love Speechless. Just got to find a supportive vendor that's not rude. Next is Harper James Wax Co. And this is Sunday Fun Day. Coffee bean, ice cream, cheesecake, and caramel. I did not order from her initial fall restock. I really wanted to. And then I went on a little later because I was at work. And it was all, like, everything I wanted was gone. But Mary did say she's restocking the site. Not 100% sure. I will also leave that down in the description below whenever I figure it out. I want to say it's coming up. I know she's on vacation, but after doing this snap bar, I was in the mood to do Harper James. This was beautiful. Coffee bean, ice cream, cheesecake, and caramel. It just made the whole entire apartment smell warm and cozy. A little bit of coffee, a little bit of caramel with that creaminess. It was just beautiful and it did last almost the entire day. So I did really enjoy that. And Mary's just so sweet. So really like that. Strawberry Sugar from Southbound. This is Pink Sugar blended with Strawberry Passion. It was okay. It was a souffle. It's just like a sweet sugary strawberry. I would not repurchase that. Honey Love from The Bathing Garden. This was a Honey I Watched the Kids dupe from Lush. It's just like a sweet honey toffee scent. Did perform really well in my tea light. And last but not least, a Bitty Betty from L3 in Peanut Butter Strawberry Jam Fresh Baked Bread. This was beautiful. My bready, yeasty, loving heart loved this. When it went in the warmers, it truly smelled like freshly baked bread out of the oven smeared with peanut butter and jelly. Like, And it lasted absolutely all day. Totally would repurchase this in probably a loaf, like a bigger size. I really did like the peanut butter, strawberry jam, and fresh baked bread. It was awesome. Whew. That was so much wax, you guys. I definitely finished quite a bit and do not like to go that long in between melting. But I will say, this week I did pull another basket and it's lots of fall. It's Sassy Girl Aroma. It's Melted Moose. I pulled uh, a Harper James. I pulled a Zape, which also Zape is restocking her website. I was not going to order. I was staying strong. I don't need any Zape wax. I was doing well. I've been like getting low on my Zape collection. I have a couple Christmas shapes and that's it. And then my beloved Franken Cake and Scoop, which did not come back. And then I see all these hauls like Lexi, Andrea, uh, Michaela. Yeah, lots of people were posting videos. And I'm like, I need to order. <laughs> I just have to. And then I saw she's restocking her clammies. So, got to pick up some of those. But thank you all so much for watching. As always, make sure you're subscribed. Hit that notification bell. That way you're alerted anytime I upload a video here on YouTube. Let me know what you melted this week. Anything stand out? Anything I need to try? Any tips and tricks that I need to know with, like, Swanky or, like, new vendors? I do have an order coming this week from Tea Time Tarts. Blame Nicole Perry because she raves about Tea Time Tarts and I had to try it. But yeah, make it a better world, everyone. You matter. Be kind. And I love you all so much. Bye, guys.